Hey guys, this is me, Thirtastic Mom. I thought I would do a car vlog for you guys today. Today is December the 15th, and it's halfway to Christmas time. It'll be here before we know it. It seems like just a couple days ago, it turned December. Now, here it is the 15th, and then Christmas will be here and over before we know it. But I'm feeling festive. How about you guys? I got on my little, my little earring, my little Christmas earrings. And I'm feeling festive. <laughs> Y'all know me, I like Christmas anyway. But anyway, it's 54 degrees. It's cold out there, I know that. And it's real windy. I mean, there's a whole bunch of leaves just flowing across the parking lot right now. <laughs> it's crazy. You might can see some of it back here in my window if it ain't too bright. But they are going everywhere. But there's a lot of people out. This parking lot has a lot more cars in it than it normally does. Everybody's out shopping and doing their thing. <laughs> but anyway, I need some ribbon because I want to... Ribbon or something. I'm going to see what they have in there. Um, something to hang up my... Um, you know, kind of display my Christmas cards or something on the wall with. And I need some bows. So I hope they have some bows. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm sleepy. So I hope they have some bows for me. But anyway, I'm going to go in and pick up a few things. Then I may run to roses. I got one little thing I want to exchange. And that's about it, I think. That's about all I got to do. But I thought I'd do a car vlog because I haven't done one in a while. And chat with you guys a little bit. I wanted to talk about the sliders that I made um, this past Sunday when we had our Christmas party. I had mentioned that I might do a video showing how to make them, but I didn't. I was so busy, y'all. And the sandwiches is something that you have to put together at the last minute and cook at the last minute because it's got wet ingredients on it. and um, I just didn't have time. My husband was in there watching um, fishing shows on TV and I had got my meatballs in the crock pot that morning before church so they were good. I had already like pre-made up my little smokies, wrapped them in bacon so all I had to do was um, you know throw them in the oven. But I had already cut up like my basil, garlic and stuff like that. Everything that I could you know like do ahead the day before I did. But anyway still like the last hour before I had to leave to go to the party um, I was cooking the sandwiches and they turned out really good I was surprised how pretty they looked, and um, they turned out really good if you look on my Facebook page I have um, there's a video on there showing like four different sliders that you can make well that's what I got one of them off of and then the other one I just happened to look at um, look on the internet you know and find it because we have some people that don't eat meat in our church so um, I decided to make some for them so I made them like a pesto, tomato, mozzarella slider and the chicken marinara slider that I got off my Facebook page. Well, I got it off Facebook and then I saved any recipes I think that I might, you know, want to use later on in the future or something. Then I always save them to my Facebook page. So I did those and they were only... Uh, like chicken with marinara and basil and mozzarella and they were they were really good and I made two sets of those which were 30 of them and then one set of the vegan which was 15 and every one of them was eat I tasted my son got one of the pesto ones I tasted it and it was pretty good you know it's okay but um I like eating meat you know so I preferred the chicken marinara but it was really good but i did not bring one stitch of food back y'all and that's that's rare i mean normally i bring something back you know what i mean i didn't bring not even one meatball back i was surprised all i brought back was two empty containers and i was like man and i had borrowed my pastor's crock pot so she took it home with her and there wasn't no meatballs left it was like an eight or nine quart crock pot you know and it was slammed full i loaded that sucker up with meatballs and they were all eat. It was like four bags of meatballs. Every bit of it was eat. All the sandwiches were eat. I mean, everybody must have been hungry because it, it was wiped out. Um, but we had a good time. We played bingo and um, 
couple of people got to win prizes. I had some guests, actually, that uh, we invited. And my stepson was one of them. He actually won bingo one time. And my son was there. He won. Uh, no, I think I don't think he won. His girlfriend won bingo one time. But I still didn't win bingo, y'all. <laughs> Next year's my year, right? <laughs> That's what my pastor says. Next year's your year. That's right. <laughs> but anyway, we had a good time. There goes the ambulance. Hope nobody's hurt. But anyway, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to run into Dollar Tree and grab a few things and whatever I get. I'll show you when I get back out here. Out of Dollar Tree, I wanted to show you right quick what I picked up in there. Um, I got me three of these baskets here. It's got the handles on them. And the reason I got these is because I was thinking in my freezer, I always break down my meats, like my hamburger meat and uh, pork chops, things like that, because I'll buy a big pack and then break it down into a couple meals. And I normally write on the pack, on the aluminum foil that I wrap it in, I normally write, um, you know, what it is or the date I put it in there. And sometimes that marker comes off of them, you know, when it gets froze and stuff like that. So I thought I would just get these, and they're I think they're the perfect size to, like, just stack my meats in and slide them in the freezer, and I don't have a bunch of aluminum foil packs laying everywhere. Um, so I may even, like, put the word here, you know, that this is chicken or this is hamburger meat or whatever, just to kind of organize it a little bit better, and I'll know what's in it. And I won't even have the right on the aluminum foil. I can just... Put it in the, the bin that it'll go in and I'll know what it is. And uh, it'll just keep my freezer a little bit tidier. Now it will probably take up the whole bottom shelf of my freezer. But the packs of aluminum foil, you know, do that anyway. So maybe it'll be a little bit more tidier in that. I'm going to try those. So I got three of those. I think three of them might fit in there side by side. I picked up a gold bow. And this is a pretty big bow, you know, just to go on the biggest package that I have under my tree or biggest gift I have under my tree. Because I don't want to put a little bow on such a big old gift because it won't look right. Um, I got two packs of tape and scotch. I picked up this gold ribbon. And I think I'm going to fix this up somehow on my wall or something and hang my um, Christmas cards off of it. I picked up this bag here. This is actually a wine bag. And I'm going to put my niece's gift in this because I got her a cut with her initial on it for like 50 cent at Walmart. And I put um, like some gloves in it, some lip gloss because she's, I guess she's about 11, 12 years old, something like that now. But um, you know, just filled the cup up with some goodies for her. I got a necklace in it that I had got brand new at the thrift store. Um, you know, little things like that. And I thought this would be perfect just to slide the cup down in for her. I did get two packs of bows. I wanted a kind of a different color, maybe some more gold bows. But both of these only have one gold bow in each bag. And I thought, well... I don't really want to go anywhere else to look for bows and try to get a certain color bow. So I'm just going to use those and not worry about it because they're going to end up in the trash anyway. I did get two cute, I thought really cute bags. It actually, it's actually kind of pops out a little bit. That's neat. But I thought these were so cute. So I got these for my niece. I got two of them because I got both of them again. And, you know, they're at that age where if one sees what one the other one's got, they want it kind of thing. So I, you know, tried to get them pretty much the same thing. That way, hopefully they won't argue over it. Now, they both got a shirt. They both got a cup, um, like a drinking cup, Christmas drinking cup. And I put candy in the cup. And I put them on. Uh, a like a paper and pad Christmas paper and pad thing that they can you know doodle in <laughs> but um 
I got them that, and they got the shirt, and their shirts are different, but they still both got a shirt. So I tried to do that where they're pretty much got the same thing so they don't give their parents a hard time. Hopefully. <laughs> and the last thing I got were two packs of candy. And the reason I got these is because I plan on putting these out in my house the day that my kids come over to do Christmas with us. Because I like to have a little bit of treats out. You know, this year, um, me and my husband both are have changed our diet and trying to eat different foods and normally i have hot chocolate candy stuff like that you know because that's what people want around the holidays anyway and uh i'm not doing that no, this year we're not even we haven't even had a cup of hot chocolate it's because we're trying to lay off so much sugar intake and um you know i felt like well i got that cute little snowman dish out as part of my decor and um, I'll just get some candy and I'll keep it hid until they come over and then I'm going to fill the little candy dish full of candy. Because I like having a little kind of sweet treat for them to snack on while they're there. Because that's just what makes the holidays fun, you know what I mean? And what better than chocolate, right? <laughs> I know I keep looking over here, y'all. My camera's over here. But I can't get used to it. I see me in the camera and I like that because I can kind of see what's going on and how I'm holding things. But I'm bad about looking dead at me while I talk instead of the camera. The camera's kind of over there, but y'all get the picture. But anyway, I'm fixing to head to Roses, do a quick little exchange there, and uh, head back to the house. I don't know, I might go get these ratchet eyebrows did. <laughs> Get them to clean them up a little bit because they look horrible. Okay, guys, I just pulled back up in my yard. I got everything done. I went to Roses, exchanged something. One gift I got, and then I realized I didn't need it because I got something else. So I exchanged it and put like six bucks with it and got my mom something for Christmas out of there. And um, I'm about done with my Christmas, y'all. Um, uh, that's pretty much about it. Went to Dollar Tree. Y'all seen that. So I'm home. I'm getting ready to go in here and upload this thing. So y'all have a car vlog to watch. <laughs> I'm going to go. I hope y'all have a good day. And I will see you in my next video. Like it up, please. Comment and subscribe. Bye. And it was a, like an eight or nine quart, um, quart crock pot. It was like an eight or nine qu quart pot. I can't say it.